Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's George and Nicole here. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So today I will be recreating one of my own looks. It was the January 2019 unboxing. I did a makeup look. Well, I had on a makeup look that most of you or a lot of you had liked. Um, a few of you commented under the video saying that you loved the look. So I did a poll on my Instagram asking whether or not if I should re recreate the look for you guys to see, you know, how I came up with it and so forth. So that's what I will be doing today. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications, which is that bell next to the subscribe button. So you are notified every time I upload a new video. All right, so let's jump into the video. <laughs> As you can see my brows they're already done and of course I'll be linking my detailed eyebrow tutorial in my description box below so you can check that out so to start I'll be moisturizing with my pons guys I bought some new stuff well they're not really new new but they're new to me because I've always just been using the same stuff that work for me all the time so So I won't be priming today for a couple of reasons. One, I'm not going anywhere so I'm just doing this look for the sake of the video. And two, I don't always use primer, mostly just moisturize and put on the foundation. Okay, so we're going to jump into foundation and the foundation that I will be using today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. new foundation finally it's in the shade bronze so i'm just blending that out with my beauty blender my damped beauty blender that is all right now on to my concealer my mac Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC42. This is the one. And a way I kind of blend the concealer on my nose, like it's kind of like I'm contouring my nose already, so that's how I bring the concealer in and make sure to blend it as much as possible the edges so now we're going to set under the eyes first and i'm going to be using my fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch setting <laughs> setting powder by rihanna it's this one i just bought it yesterday and it is in the shade banana this is it sticker thing kind of got on it but that's the packaging it's like a mirror this powder smells really good I think the setting powder did a great job it really just cancelled out and it looks very flawless I'd say okay. so next up I'm going to set the rest of my face and I went to Mac today and I bought two I bought two Mac mineralized skin finish in dark and I also bought the dark deep for contour. Yeah, spend some. <laughs> so this is the dark. Oops. This is the dark. I'm 
gonna use that to balance out the rest of my skin. I'm liking it so far. Let me jump into the eyes and then I'll finish up the skin. I'm just gonna be using one palette for today, just one. I'm gonna be using this shade and and this one. So the lighter one I'm going to be using for my transition. So I'm just I'm really just packing on the shadow and then I'm blending. Blend very lightly going up towards my brow so it doesn't look harsh. The key to flawless eyeshadow is blending. So we're gonna go on to the last shadow. The shadow that I just used was called Rush. I didn't even give you guys the name. It's called Rush, and now I'm going to use Alert on the lid. So I'm gonna go in with a different brush, which is a flatter brush. I'm gonna use that to pack onto the lid. Very pigmented. I love this palette. Okay, so after packing that on, that's when I go back into the first shadow, which is Rush. I dip into it with my other blending brush and I start blending the edges. It's a process because you can see I lost a little of the shadow that's a packed on. But it's still there, it's just gonna add some more. I'm gonna pause from the eyes and I'm gonna go into contouring now. I'm gonna use my MAC Dark Deep to contour or bronze, whichever way it turns out. <laughs> They're very similar, so this is a dark deep. Right, and I'm gonna use that same powder to contour my nose. The color that I place on my lid, which is Alert, I'm going to tight line my lower lash line with that, and then I'm going to blend it out with Rush, which was the color that I used to, um, as my transition color. I'm gonna add my black liner to my waterline. The blush I have here is from Jordana. It's called Redwood, and this is the color. That color is very subtle and cute. Yes. The look is coming together. All right, and the mascara that I'm gonna be using is the Itaolia or Itaolia. This is it. No faults is today. I'm just gonna this this um mascara is very good. It really extends my lashes like. Yeah, my lashes are naturally long, but still, like, it really, it gets the job done. Um, and I got this in my coveted box. So, always do windshield wipe promotions to help with stretching. As you can see, it's already stretching them. Okay, so there's a difference so far. Yeah, 
mascara nice i'm going ham on the mascara right now sometimes what i will do too is i will leave it for a little while and do something else to make it dry and then i will go back into it again and that gives me even more volume fake lashes wear if I don't have to wear those things I don't wear them all right so my Fenty Beauty glass bomb and I bought a new setting spray as well it's the rude shine control lasting makeup mist this is the packaging for it so cute, cute, cute. Look at that. Took a mini bath. <laughs> now I'm going to highlight. This is not new. <laughs> My Master Chrome. This one is the Molten Gold, number 100. Ooh. Ready. <laughs> Another thing I like to do sometimes is to use this gold, this gold shadow. And I will dip my fan brush in it just the same, just like that. And I just add a little bit on the highlighted portions. And I'll just add a little of that gold in the teared up area as well. And I glue it everywhere. Like Listen, are you guys loving this look right now? I love it. Oh, jeez, I need to do my lower lashes, guys. I almost forgot. So this is the final look guys. Thank you so much for watching. So all you new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for all the love that I received in my previous video when I spoke about, you know, going back natural after 10 years. I really appreciate the comments, the compliments, you know, all the love um please let me know what you think about this look i am feeling it i think my hair is working with it as well yes yes so until next time may god continue to bless you all and i will see you in my next video bye